Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. And this time round, it is July's month of events. Of course, with every beginning of the month, we have that, well, exclusive 7 star episode play. Or two, uh, depending on how greedy Dina will be for that month. But we all know, you know, the, the twice or the two copies of 7 star episode plates uh, occurring don't really happen that often so far we've only had two situations um, basically it was the first introduction of the seven star episode plates and of course well, the second time was pretty much close to the date when the seven stars was implemented on the second anniversary of the time across so we are heading towards the third anniversary for Old Time Across right now. Um, the third anniversary itself is in August. So are you guys excited for it? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you know, with all the hype and celebration towards the third anniversary that's coming around the corner, well, Dana is just out to leech our money from our wallets. <laughs> so let's see. Um, what is there to expect? So yeah, if you guys have watched the live stream alongside with me, if you didn't, well, the live stream can be found in the end credits of this end of the video. Um, you can click on it to watch it if you haven't, and get yourself updated to what is coming, and of course what is you know set out for the summer period of Wutai Macross, uh, and of course you know all the new gameplay mechanics that's probably gonna launch out very soon at the end of this month uh yeah so go watch that live stream get yourself you know um knowledgeable on all the stuff that's going on and i'll come back to this video later on if you haven't all right so as promoted within the live stream um Nyan Kuji boxes are coming again uh, just like every New Year's anniversary, um, whatever special events that you know they can just make money out of. <laughs> um, so yes, the Nian Kuji box is coming back with an exclusive episode play um, featuring well the the 3D bars you see on the screen right now, and of course, you know there are tickets that you need to have to pull that box. So. As usual, the discounted stone packs are here. The first round is here, of course. Uh, every time when they release um, a Nyankuji discounted stone pack, well, there's always two rounds of them. So, and we know from the live stream, this Nyankuji event is going to last from July all the way through to August. So it's two rounds, and each round will have two rounds of discounted stone packs. So it's four sets of discounted stone packs that you can purchase. Um, and of course, it's Dana way of saying thank you for your money. <laughs> so yes, if you have the finances to do so or the means to purchase singing stones as usual, um, I will always recommend the 10,000 yen pack and that's it. Because I don't see a need to actually go ahead and purchase every single version of the discounted stone packs unless you are really loaded during this pandemic period which I think most of us shouldn't be unless well, you're, you're a business owner and somehow or other you're doing very well and you don't mind tossing in the extra cash well, it's your money I can't control how you spend it so <laughs> alright guys Let's take a look at Milane's brand new gacha. That's what this video is here about. Um, and let's see, you know, as a seven star episode play, is it actually better than the rest of the seven stars that has been released before? So, if you guys aren't familiar with seven star gachas by now, yes, even though Milane is the featured episode play, and of course, you know, being the featured episode play, the appearance rate tends to be higher for Milane. But, you know, there's always the chance of pulling the rest of the 7 stars. The rest of the 7 stars are all situated as, um, well, 0.037%. And of course, um, you know, Milanes will definitely be a lot higher. You get that? It? It's like 0.7%. So, yeah. 
I mean, it has happened to me before where I get the other episode plates other than the main featured one. Uh, Freya, <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So, anyways, I probably might be making another video uh, soon, I suppose. Considering that we have almost gone through a year's worth of 7 star episode plate. So it's time to compare all the current 7 star episode plates to see which is actually the best out there up to the point of when I made the video, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at Milane. Uh, there we go. Milane's 7 star plate. And let's take a look at the stats. So 430. Uh, sorry. 4,348 total score, well balanced uh, all around, just slightly higher on soul than voice and charm. Of course, you want to pay attention to who else can use the episode plates because, well, now that they have plans to do solo diva events, that's coming at the end of this month. If you guys are not updated, all the information is on my YouTube Facebook page. Link to that page is on the description of the videos as always. And of course, I did mention it in the live stream, you know, reaction video as well. So yes, I highly recommend you to go and watch that video if you want to catch up on all things Utah Macross that is currently coming up for the third anniversary itself. So yeah, so solo diva events are gonna be a thing and who oh boy! <laughs> Okay, so center skill. Well, as always, if you use it on the specific series that the diva belongs to, you get that you know double S rank center skill. And of course, Macross Seven Songs units total is boosted by fifty percent up. You can use the episode plate on any other series as well, but it's just gonna give you that thirty percent instead of the fifty percent that it's supposed to benefit from. Alright, moving on to the second page. Active skill, as usual, if you do get it fully evolved to its 7 star form, you will have the active skill for 15 seconds, you get a 100% boost in score, and you can activate it twice. Live skill, well, usually 7 star plates don't really have a S rank live skill, but they are usually pretty good. Like um, this one at the 45 second mark, for 10 seconds your score is boosted by 20% up. Uh, it is not the best percentage out there, but you know, um, compared to other life skills, this one actually isn't the best. Um, the other episode plates that have like supportive life skills like heal, make notes easier to tap, that kind of stuff, those are essentially more useful even though they are <clears throat> lower in percentage, that kind of stuff, it's still way more useful than a score boost of 20%. Uh, you guys will probably know what I mean if you've played long enough. So, okay, let's take a look at the last page. Will Milane's 7 star plate be the first of its kind? Nope. <laughs> it's just like all the others, it doesn't come with a special note attached to it. I guess maybe they'll start including the special notes to 7 star episode plates once every single diva has gotten a copy of a 7 star episode plate. So we are still down to uh, Basara and Min Mei. Once these two get their 7 star episode plates, maybe Dana might release something even more powerful. So I guess we are probably looking towards, um, I guess, Christmas period where things might really go crazy once again with all the high scoring achievements uh, and of course all the whalers are gonna go further into the zone of untouchables <laughs> for free to play players especially um, and well myself because I am a mid tier pay to play but I am barely keeping up with the whalers right now so yeah, I, I'm just enjoying Utah Macross as it is, so I'm, I'm fine with not ranking too high in the high score situation. So, alright, with all that said, Milane's episode plate is definitely a must get because, well, 7 stars, 
And of course, it's a costume that can only be unlocked via this episode play. That one and only episode play. Um, just like any of the other seven star costumes out there. So, real bummer. So, Millennium fans, if you got the singing stones and the finances to attain her episode plate, go for it. Um, it's definitely a plate worth attaining, and it's a very nice illustrated episode plate. You don't see Millennium smile like this very often. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow, Freya is getting her swimsuit costume um, that was illustrated by uh, Suzuki Minori, the voice actress of. Freya we on. So uh, I guess you probably will see me again tomorrow or, or rather hear me again. You don't really see me in my gacha videos but yeah you get <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> okay so let's do this. I'm gonna save stones enough for tomorrow's gacha as well. I try not to go beyond the uh, I guess 2000 singing stones range if possible. So Let's, let's just hope that luck returns because the last two gachas that I did definitely there was no luck there at all so hopefully you know the luck has refreshed for the month alright so let's do this let's stop the blabbling and just watch boxes blink <laughs> alright some decent loading speed here we go the first 10 plate discounted pool Okay, horrible Valkyrie out <laughs> animations. So, we have seen good pools come up from horrible Valkyrie animations before, so let's just hope this is the only time that we might see a horrible one. So, only one red box even after the second blink. Lots of Frontier episode plates. There we go. Not even a 5 star, but okay. Uh, gotta flush out the black bad luck. No, not black luck. Bad luck. <laughs> oh. Okay, the pet evolved. So, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Kind of. Alright. Time for the painful pulls. 500 stones each template. Okay. Let's see how many times I have to do this. The most I can do is 4 more rounds. So, here we go. Alright, some decent loading once again. Oh my goodness. Not even a single Valkyrie. Holy crap. Okay, at least two red boxes. So, I have a feeling that both of them won't evolve though. Just got that hunch. Alright, very early appearance. Oh. More duplications. Alright, that's it for this round. Pretty horrible. Okay, at least one of the plates evolved. Well, not exactly, considering that it retains its same image. Alright, here we go, second round of 10 plate at 500 stones each. Gotta exit out and refresh the luck. It's just a superstitious belief, but you know, it, it just feels comforting to do it. <laughs> Alright, uh, a bit of a surprise load at the end. So maybe this might be it. Uh oh. Oh, two red boxes on the first blink. Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of red boxes! And two rainbows alongside it? Could the surprise load be? Uh oh. Okay. Lots of Kumo. There we go. Oh! Which one will I get? Please, be me lane! Yes! Oh! Kumaba is happy! Look at that! Oh, so pretty! Alright! 
Okay, we don't get a second copy of 7 star, or rather 6 star, but you know, that's fine. A rainbow box is always welcome. <laughs> Alright, I got Milane's costume. The month is settled in terms of um, easy playing, I guess. <laughs> For you guys out there who aren't able to attain a copy of Milane's brand new plate, that's, that's fine. As long as you have friends in your friend list who are active in terms of playing, um, you know, you can always borrow their plates to gain that bonus percentage uh, in terms of scoring. So yeah, um, as long as you attain maybe the rest of the Gacha's mains, main episode plates that are coming up for the event itself, so that you get that bonus um, push. And of course, from the friends borrowed plate as well. Uh, I hope you understand what kind of strategy I'm recommending here. But you know, it's the free to play style of benefiting from having friends. So yeah, uh, <laughs> guys, I'm gonna end the pool here because I don't really want to spend more than I need to. Because I have a feeling that I might need the rest of the singing stones for the upcoming gachas as well. Especially with, um, you know, Freya's costume that's coming tomorrow. And of course, I really, really kind of want that Fire bom Bomber swimming swimsuit um, costume for Basara. Uh, and then of course, hopefully to pair it up with Milane's one in the future in August, I think. Because um, Milane's not getting her swimsuit costume this month, strangely enough. Uh, it would have been nice if they would pair both of them together within the same month. But, you know, they decided to pair Min Mei with Basara. So, eh, what to do? <laughs> uh, just gotta, I guess, buy more singing stones in the future. Uh, oh well. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you guys did, you guys are awesome. If you're not subscribed to the channel just yet, you know, why not? You know, click that subscribe button for more Utah Macross videos just like this and maybe reaction videos to more, um, I don't know, anniversary updates, uh, uh, maybe, I don't know, I might do like game video reviews and all that kind of stuff in the future as well, uh, whatever. <laughs> so um, yeah, follow me by subscribing, like this video if you found it a bit you know, more interesting with all the ridiculous reactions that I did this time around. <laughs> and yeah, let me know in the comments as always on your own personal poll. And of course, you know, what do you think about the episode play itself? And what do you think about all the upcoming events for July? August. And I'll see you guys soon. Tomorrow, in fact. Same time, same place, same platform. Bye! <laughs>